G'day, how are you? My name's Dan, and welcome back to the Green and Gold Life. So on today's vid, we're gonna have a look at my little wheelbarrow out the front here. So it's just this little ornamental wheelbarrow that I've got here. Uh, we like to plant a little bit of color in it, and it can be a little bit of a feature around the garden. It's just this dicey old wheelbarrow we got off the side of the road. Yeah, she's not much, but it looks good. All right, so we're gonna plant that out with a little bit of color, uh, you know, some petunias and a few annuals, and get it looking good. Okay, so before we get into it, I might get changed out of me moccasins and track pants and uh, get some, into something more comfortable. All right. Hey. <laughs> All right, so I had a little bit of merch made up for the channel. Uh, it's the OG subscriber series from The Green and Gold Life. I've only got about 10 or 15 of these made up, so uh, it'll be first in best dressed. So uh, I haven't really got a website yet, so uh, if you want one of these, you can hit me up on Facebook in the DM, or you can hit me up on the emails, uh, thegreenandgoldlife at gmail.com. All right, so I'm only gonna run with the OG collection until I get about a thousand subscribers. Then after that, I might just go back to the old, uh, just normal, um, the normal logo. So uh, yeah, if you're in the market for a sweet looking singy, hit me up, otherwise, let's get into it, eh? Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is actually tip out all of this topsoil. So I've got loam and topsoil in here at the moment, and that really needs to go, because when you're doing something in a pot, you really want potting mix that's nice and free draining. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is pull this out and, uh, and tip it out. All right, let's get to it. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is shuffle this hurdy-gurdy into position to where you want it because uh, once you've filled it up, it can generally tend to be a little bit heavier to move. This is a wheelbarrow, so I'm not wicked mad concerned, but if you're doing like a pot, a big pot or something, you know, by the time you get all the potting mix in it, she could be a bit heavy. So uh, make sure she's in the right spot first, then fill it up. So you might notice I've got this stacked on a, uh, on a Telstra pit. <laughs> so Telstra, if you're watching, don't worry. It's a wheelbarrow, so we can always shift it if you've got to get into the pit, but uh, yeah, right, mate. Probably need a little bit more. Okay, when I initially set this up as a planter, I knocked some holes in it with the drill so that the water can get out. You gotta make sure you do that, eh? Or otherwise your plants are gonna go for a swim. All right, last weekend, the CFO and myself went down to the big green shed and we got a little bit of potted color here. So um, I'm not gonna put all of this in at once. Um, you know, we've got some snapdragons, petunias, and alyssum here. So um, yeah, gonna get a bit of this into the barrow. Try and brighten this joint up a bit, eh? All right. So these annuals are gonna be pretty easy to get out. You know, they haven't been in the pot very long. But sometimes when you've got a perennial that's been sitting in a pot for a while, they can be stuck in there pretty good. So um, you might need to go around and trim the roots off the bottom. What I like to do is just give it a quick squeeze down here. Turn her upside down, just like that. Um, I like to break the roots off a bit out the bottom so that they're not growing in a circular fashion. And then smack it in the hole. Mate, how easy is that? Too easy! Alrighty, while I'm at it, I might as well pot up a little bit more and uh, try and hide that Telstra bit a bit more, eh? Okay, now that you've got it all planted up, you're gonna wanna water everything in. That's gonna do two things for you. It's gonna ensure good soil to root contact and it's going to flush out any of the air pockets that might be there. So in my watering can here I've got nine litres of water and about 30 mil worth of seaweed secrets and I've got about 30 mil of Activate Mate, a uh, liquid fertiliser. All of these products are available online from the plant doctor and um, you can use the discount code TWGL10 at checkout and they'll knock off 10% for you. All right. My 
the video please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more lawn and garden gear around the joint you can catch us on facebook at the green and gold light and uh you guys do me a wicked bad favor enjoy the rest of your week all right chat you're off